on The Walking Dead. I'm freezing. Wait till we get up to Wellington, then talk to me about coal. I'm gonna go look for more wood. Where's the rest of your group? I-I'm by myself! Bullshit! <gasps> Clementine, run! I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Would someone mind telling me what the fuck is going on here? She was bit by a dog. For all we know, she could be working with Carver. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? Maybe I could stay here for a little bit, if that's all right. I've got no problem with it. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? You were in the woods with Krista. Please. Ah! <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Come this way! Damn it, you get your asses over here, both of you! You could have saved him! How could you just leave him? How could you just leave him? Excuse me, he's your father. How did you abandon him? Don't blame that on me. <laughs> My cat is getting so much pets right now. So many pets for the baby. <laughs> Danger, danger. Oh, oh my kid in his back. What's the plan? What's the plan here, Nick? What are you doing? He's getting something to block the door. I thought we were going to have another Ben situation on our hands. I'm sorry about Pete. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. I'm a brooding I male. My uncle. Back at the stream. Why'd you follow me? I trusted you. Well, that was stupid. What do we do now? I don't care. If we're stuck here, we should at least look around. Maybe we can find something to help us get out of here. Yeah. Knock yourself out. Let's do it, Clementine. Clementine. Clementian. Move plywood. What is that stuff? Let me see. It's alcohol. Can be jam, I guess. <sighs> Whiskey. Now what? Light it on fire. Oh, fuck if I know. We wait, I guess. We wait, I guess. Don't light it on fire. Not with the propane tank we have right next to us. And the lighter you have in your backpack, you don't want to throw the alcohol at the zombies, light them on fire, and then run away? I mean, I guess we're in the woods, but the woods are damp right now. From the rain that happened, yeah, last night? Yelling is not going to help. We need to just take care of it by going over to him.
We don't need to say anything. Just make eye contact. Exactly, there it is. We didn't need to tell him to stop. He knew he needed to stop on his own. I had to kill my mom. That's rough, man. Huh. Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on it. His big plan. Some fucking plan. Case of beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. Everyone I grew up with, it all happened to them. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know now, this is a serious moment. My cat is just being dumb. I love you, We're baby all so Marcia. fucked. This whole world is <laughs> fucked. You're right. It's a nightmare. We live in a fucking nightmare. Yeah, that's true. We do. Whether or not, point? whether or not we live in the apocalypse, we'll march to some new place and somebody else will die. It's never going to stop. It's true. Eventually, it'll be our turn. So what's the point of living a normal life can't before the apocalypse? Been here a, day. a day, right? It's We're been born. A day, right? We do our chores. We go to work to make money to live. Hey kid. What's the point? You need to make a point. Have a drink with me. It's gonna be your first and your last. <laughs> no thanks. Listen. They're not coming for us. You should go. Run for it. What are, what are you gonna do? Stay here. I'm tired. Go find Luke and the rest. They'll take care of you. They're good people. I knew someone like you. He was always screwing up too. Screwing up? I didn't ask for any of this. Nobody does. But so what? Is this Ben? Come with me. Are you kidding? And leave all this? You Mendo. can't just sit here and die. Why not? Hi, baby. What does it matter? Oh, I know. You still have Luke and everyone else. They're family. Yep. Nick, I need your help. Please. My cat uses my chair as a scratching post. You're right. But she doesn't do it from the ground. She climbs to the top of the chair and then uses it as a scratch <sighs> post. So she's currently behind look, my head. Separated. Behind my neck. Kevin's only half a mile Scratching her paws. You can't miss it. Oh, I know, child. You ready? Yeah. Fuck it. Out we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, go, let's go, let's go, let's go, go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ha! Fuck you, motherfucker! <laughs> Oh, oh shit. time to focus. Quick time events. Let's go. Hey, over here. Come on, you fucks. Look at me. Get the fuck out of here. I said, get the fuck out of here. So two, a divided house. That's what it says, right? Did I get it right? That's not the same cabin, right? The other one had a porch to it. Unless this is the back of the house. That might be it too. 
Clementine, are you all right? Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? You spent hours. Where are they? Clem! We got attacked. By who? Walkers. Jesus! He got killed. I was with Nick, but... My God. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there. Get the guns. Okay, let's go. Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you, can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her and don't tell her anything. I'll take care of her. You can trust me. Thank you. You'll be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. And All right. Thank you. So now we need to balance the trust with him and Sarah. Because we're not going to lie to Sarah. Sarah is going to be our new friendo. Say cheese. I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. It's so cool. It is so cool. Take one of me. Come on, take one of me. Sure. Get me in a good pose, okay? Okay, I'm ready. I'm gonna wait a Take second. It. <laughs> What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? You should know what's going on. He told you not to tell me, didn't he? He is in trouble. Oh my gosh. What happened? Clem? Pete's dead. Trust always. Honesty. Sorry, I, I just need to. I love that lily pad pond picture hanging on the wall. Oh, you play board games! Hello, fellow nerd friend. I wish to have a game night. Let's do it. Game night. It's happening. You want to see what I found? Yes, please. Will you show me how to use it? Yep. I couldn't find any bullets. If something's wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? Okay, but it's not a toy. I know. Good. First, remember, it's just a thing. What does that mean? Um, I don't know. I thought it'd be heavier. Okay, what do I do? The most important thing is, always aim for the head. Okay. Unless it's a person trying to hurt you, then what do I do? Aim Just anywhere. Just keep shooting. What should I shoot? Don't do that! Yeah. So, so, sorry, sorry. You're good. It's a learning thing, but there's no bullets. Outside. There's that tree. <clears throat> hey, Luke's back! We found what you're looking for. Get it? Looking. Uh. That may or may not be Luke, actually. He already would have been at the house of the front door entrance by now. Also, apologies for the the more rumbly tumbly voice. Uh, kind of woke up, didn't have a lot of sleep. So this is my more. That's not Luke. Sicky icky voice. Clem, I think I know him. He can't see me. Okay. You have to make him go away. Okay. Go and find somewhere to hide. Where? No. Clem, I can't breathe. You're having an anxiety attack. You're good. Shh. Go upstairs to the bathroom, hide in the closet. Hello? Huh? 
Hello there. Who are you? Well, actually, I'm your neighbor. Neighbor? That's right. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? Yeah, What's go your name? <laughs> My name is George, honey. We'll trust it for now. Pleasure to meet you. You mind if I come in for a bit? I've been out all morning and this heat has got me cooked. Would you please leave? This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. Sure could pack a lot of folks in there. I'm alone. Really? Yeah. I take care of myself. Well, I'm impressed. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. And a pretty little pregnant lady. I saw them. They're dead. You saw who? Where? Down by the river the other day. Walkers got them. I'm sorry. <laughs> the river? You sure about that? Pretty sure. Well, no offense, but I guess that wasn't them. Because... The ones I'm looking for are very careful people. If you say so. <clears throat> We've been cordial. Is Sarah going to defend us with a gun? A lot of plates for one person. Looks like a tornado ran through here. I don't ever do the dishes. Hey, well, believe me, I don't either. Just passing through, or you've been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. I'm not sure why you'd go anywhere after finding this place. Been here for a year. Is that right? It's dangerous to stay put that long. Surprise you've lasted. I've been lucky. I doubt that. Where does this go? Over there. Uh, in the drawer there. Well, it's a real nice place. Kind of cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch. But a smart man. What's his name? Carlos. Yeah, so this is a guy after well, our well, people. That's what I figured. Trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. Yeah. What was that? I thought you said nobody's here. Oh, yeah, you're pulling out a gun? Oh, yeah, okay. We're gonna have an issue now. I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? You're poking sure. around. What do you mean? Oh, 
Who's this? Must be someone who lived here. Must be. Okay, so we both know who the other person is here. You have no idea who these people are, do you? Do you know them? Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? Actually... What's your point? If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? You're trying to turn me on them, huh? They've well, been I pretty I've hospitable. Long enough. I can let myself out. I'd rather you. Don't come back. You have a real good day now. <sighs> Kitty cat butt. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? Global menace. Is that like risk? Is that what that's supposed to be? Global menace? We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. You were with Nick, right? We gotta go find him. A man was here. What? Yeah. What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. I didn't open I the didn't door. open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? He didn't Maybe say his it name. Wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Yeah, but I think he was lying. What? I thought he said his name was George. George? Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he uh... sound different? How old was he? He had a big brown coat. Did it have a lining? A collar? Yeah, uh, I, pers sure. I personally don't remember. We talked about my you, memories. Dad. Yeah. You're that not I do remember. Hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. All right, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not going to do anything crazy or not nice, right? Personally, I would have shot him people, if I had the gun. Sweetie, they will yeah. do or say anything to hurt us. Correct. All right, what do you think? Hello, Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A yeah. picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. I took the picture. It's my fault. No, I asked her to. It's my fault. Sarah. Baby, mellow, mellow, baby, baby, He was scouting. Mello. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Baby, baby. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving out. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. Where are we going? Good question. Anywhere but here. Into the mountains, maybe. Yeah. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. Yeah, I could tell. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. Okay. Yeah, that sounds great to me. Look, we gotta find Nick on our way out of here. You know where he was, right? Yeah. Alright. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. I boot my kitty's nose. My little kitten. Now, you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. Hello, I'm just slippers. a little on edge. I still don't like what you did, sneaking around on us and taking advantage of my husband. But I know you were in a tough spot. I'll try to cut you some slack. It's okay. If it's not you I'm yelling at lately, it's Alvin. And then I'm in real trouble. I can handle it. I'm not a little kid. I felt the same way when I was your age. My dad was always giving me shit. And I always thought... Oh, no. <laughs> 
I know you did your best back there. <laughs> you know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin Probably, and I still yeah. don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Omid or Krista? Any ideas? Clem? There. That's where we were. Nick! Oh, he's hungover. He's fine. Hit the door. That's why there's... That's... Yeah, because of the alcohol. He's just drunk in there. He's fine. He's safe. Or he's... They're probably gonna show him stumbling around and acting like a zombie, but nah, he's gonna be just drunk. Yeah, he's just drunk. Nah, no, good try, game. He's he's fine. Jesus. Oh, hey, man. You got any aspirin? Nick, you asshole. Yeah, you didn't doubt me. I, I, you didn't make me doubt for a second. Yeah, there, there was no way you guys were gonna just turn him into a zombie and leave him there. You would have made it my fault that he was a zombie. He's dead. I know, man, I do. We gotta get moving. Okay, Carver's gang showed up. Can you make it? Yeah. Yeah. Good, let's go. Hey, Clem. I just wanted to say, thanks for not giving up on me. You're welcome. Don't worry about it. I won't forget it. Good. That's why I didn't just run away when you told me to. If the game prov provides an option like that, especially one like this, there's, <laughs> there's no way. Ouch. What happened back there in that cellar? He do something stupid? Like he can tell me. I'm just looking out for him. Nick saved my life. Really? Yeah, sort of. We need to talk positively about, about him. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? You sure you still want to come with us? Keep. Look. Nick believes that he is a detriment to the group. That he uh, and it's just going to be this self-fulfilling prophecy of uh, oh, I'm not good enough. See, I f told you I wasn't good enough, and then something bad's gonna happen that's all I do I'm just a worthless person and that's just how it's gonna go right you want to prevent that self-fulfilling prophecy and put good thoughts about somebody in there I mind. know we got off to a rough start and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher yeah I'm here I'm with you guys and we are glad I trust to have them you. not everyone is well they'll get there yeah I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. I honestly... Five days? I honestly fully am okay with everybody on the, our team. Even even the pregnant woman. I don't remember what her name is, but... Uh, I believe that she will be opening up to us over the future and we're probably gonna honestly just because of how the game goes we're probably gonna be the one that's gonna have to help her birth her child in the up either this episode or upcoming ones that's just how these kind of games okay, go oh back thank you now. it's our only Rebecca. choice or becca one of those Five days later. Okay, so we've been traveling for a little while then. Hey, and here's that bridge from the pause menu we just looked at. Hi, Marcia. Hiding. My cat likes to cross her paws. She'll sit with her back legs under her butt and then her front paws stretched out in front of her, one, hand, one paw over the other. Baby. 
See anything? I see a bridge. Should notice you something. We've been walking for a damn week. We've got to find some shelter. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. It's that a big like a building on a mountain. Night. Here, eat this back. There's a lift or something. Chairlift? Must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. And then we got the bridge is kind of falling apart. There's the bridge. And does it look passable? I think so. Good. We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but look, we've got no idea who's out there. Sure. I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. I can do it. See? No problem. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we'll signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch. Carlos, I know you want the best for your daughter. I know you want her to be safe and cared for. But in order for her to be safe in this world, she's gonna have to learn to survive on her own. I, as a young girl, had to teach her how to shoot the gun to defend herself. You, you're gonna have to teach some survival skills for that, to, for this to work out. For a light at the far side. I can go too. You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? If something happens, I'll cover you. Come on. Nick should come with us. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I just I could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. They're just still on edge after the Carver thing. It's been five days. Why would Carver still be following us? What's the most important thing in this world? What does everyone want? Even the gangs. You know, what do you think they're all after? Food. Nope. Listen, what's the one thing a guy would walk hundreds of miles to get back? Something you can't just find. Family. It's a tough world out there without people you can trust. Anyways, you, you can ask Rebecca, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna get in the middle of it. We've all made mistakes. Done things that we regret. It's not my place to talk about someone else's past, you know? I know what that's like. Yeah. Mm, stretching. Mm. Hello, Zombos. Hmm. Can't shoot them. Too much noise. There are only two. Let's take them. I like your style. Let's take them wouldn't be an option unless we could do it. You know? I'll take the big one. You get shorty. Okay. Wish we could use guns. I've got the big one. Hey, kid. Look, it's not like I don't know you have guts, but are you crazy? A little bit. Maybe I am. Just stick with the plan, okay? Go ahead. Give us a good pull. It should come free. I know. I've done this before, remember? In a shed. <laughs> good point. <laughs> eh. Nice work, kid. Ow. <laughs> On the road.
road again. Get him right back out on the road again. We're getting right back out on the road again. We're getting back out on the road again. On the road again. <laughs> It's fine. We got it. Clam! I'm okay. I just... I'm stuck. I can't reach. It's okay. Clem, look. We'll, we'll figure something out. Behind you! Oh, shit. Hit you with the hemi. Bye, Hammer. <laughs> Drama. <laughs> Kick her in the butt. Sorry, my cat. I got. I, I got distracted. My cat wanted to get into the window sill. Thanks, Clem. <laughs> You're welcome, Nick. Let's Hoffman. keep going. What high quality water? Yeah. We don't have a weapon. Just play it cool. And you do the talking. Oh, what? yeah. Why me? I don't want to get in a fight. You really think he chewed a little girl? Just don't make any sudden moves. And don't piss him off. And don't tell him anything. Yeah, Give I know. On how second to do thought, it. maybe I should do the No! Talking. Let me talk. Well, who are you? Well, who's asking? I am. Wanna help me out here? What do you want? Saw you coming, and I thought I'd meet you halfway. Okay. He's not gonna shoot us. We're fine. Huh. You don't look like assholes. Are you assholes? No offense or anything, but you know how it is out here. We're just people. Fair enough. You folks headed north like everyone else? Everyone else? I see at least one group a day move through here. They all look the same. It's like a great migration of the dazed and confused. Uh, yeah. I gotta say, you two look like shit. If you need food, I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Well, that's, uh, awful nice of you. What's the catch? No catch. I've got plenty. Well, all right then. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Nice running into friendly faces out here. Like I said, I've got food and supplies back in the station. And if you 
F1. What the fuck, man? What the hell is he doing? No, 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 no. He's he's with us. Nick! No! Don't shoot! <laughs> I wanted to believe in you, Nick, but you're making many Vin? bad choices. Where is he? I told you not to shoot. What? Who was that guy? Why didn't you wait for a signal? He was going to help us. How do you know? Damn it, Nick. I told you not to shoot. How was I supposed to hear you? You gave me a clear shot. That shot rang out for miles. We gotta get off this bridge. Let's go. Oh. <sighs> Nick, you make it hard for us to want to help you. Just like Ben. Who the fuck was that back there? I don't know. Looked like he had a gun on you. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. Oh, oh incorrect. I'm telling you, man, he drew first. Shut up, Nick. No, he didn't draw on you. You drew what on did him. You see, Clem? Was that guy going to shoot? Fuck nope. you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. He wasn't going to do anything. I know what I saw. Well, Either what way, you saw was you wrong. You hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. Look, I I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I No, I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge? We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. Look, can I talk to you alone? I sniffers. I sniffers. Hey, Clem, you got anything to eat? Bex is dying here. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? Maybe we could spend the night here. A little small for us, though. Sure. Thanks, Clem. You're welcome. Search it for food. Get upset with me. You won't. Come on. Thanks a lot for backing me up there. Yeah, but that'd be lying. I'm sure they're talking about me right now. Luke, he's becoming a danger to the group. I agree. So who was that guy? I swear. It looked like he was holding you guys up. He seemed nice. Damn. If Alvin is in front of me, he takes that shot. What a fucking mess. Maybe I am losing it. I don't know anymore. God, I'm hungry. What time is it anyway? Damn. Damn. What's wrong? I left my watch back at the cabin. It was Pete's. He gave it to me. That's all I had left of him. You know what? I'm gonna go talk to them. Okay. Be safe. Oh, there's that an, a hatchet back there. Can we? You don't want to get that weapon? You don't want a weapon? Why do you not want an axe? How do you not want that axe? Give me the axe. Come on. You're saying? Oh, there's an invisible wall. We can't go there. We can't reach that. You're not allowed to reach that axe. You can't have it. Check first. What's this over here? Radio. It's dead. I guess he slept here. Ooh, take the survival knife. Feels pretty good. Yeah, uh, we're gonna run into somebody in the cabin 
who gave him the knife, probably. I'm curious what happens if we fail again. Oh, it wouldn't let me. Uh. Sarah would like the book. Man, not thought we had a bed. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. He was trying to help us. Yeah, and someone died. I ain't no judge, but that's straight up murder in my book. I mean, you ever known anyone to do a thing like that? Lots of people. Ben and... It's all the time now. Yeah. It's fucking crazy. Pardon my French. I don't think that first sentence you said before pardon my French was actually French. But... That's funny. She looks just like you. Hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca, well, she's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? Nope. I hate to even say it, you know, but... And I'd never go against the group, but I've got to put Beck and the baby first. You can put Beck and the baby first. For you. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have put you in that position. It's a shame. Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. Yeah, so... Gladly, I, um, I don't want you to keep secrets from the group, and I fully support you taking, if you need it, you can take my share, but I will not, not lie, I will not lie for you. That is not a thing I'm going to do in a post-apocalyptic. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. Setting, not at all. How could you, could you the hell is that? Walkers. We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. Yeah, bring the zombies up the mountain. There you go. We'll deal with it when we get up there instead of now. Right? Let's just bring the problem to the... to the other people up here. Well, what are we waiting for? We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. Doesn't look like anybody's home. No, there is though. There's gotta be somebody Damn. in this house. Nail somewhere. down tight. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Yeah. Probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? That'd be just like climbing a treehouse. I had a treehouse once. Well, there you go. I hated it. Oh. Just take it slow. And I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. Got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. Yeah, that it sounds like stupid. it. That yeah. sounds stupid. Stupid can be fun. <laughs> yeah, it was. So. The trick was not to look down, though. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You're, you're fine. fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're, you're fine. All right, just, just slow down. Just for a second, okay? Look down. You look like an idiot. Just climb the thing. I'm glad that played out the way I thought it was going to. Hello, Birdie. How you doing? Made it. You see anything? Do you need attention again, my dear baby? Zombies coming up the mountain, yes, no? I can see the bridge! There's a car. 
Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. W wait, there's another. Luke. Luke. I'm gonna fall. Oh, okay. Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone, calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. Kenny! Kenny! Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? <laughs> Kenny, 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 Kenny! I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. Are you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Please, come in. We also have to talk about the light on the road right now before it's too late. Why do we not say something? We need to say something about the light that we saw. Because we're gonna get raided. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. Oh, nice. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. Good call. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Okay, can we catch up Please, on? Please make yourselves at home. You can leave your things. The over lights there. outside that are going to come up to the hell we will. Us? Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guests here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down then. Kenny, will you vouch for these people, Clam? Yep. If you tell me they're good, then I'm good. us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. We're cool. I can't okay? speak for everyone. Hey, hey, we're cool. We're cool. I can't speak for everyone. Beck, it's their home. We're not going to find another place like this tonight. I'm not going to lie. Lying is bad. Dad, look. A Christmas tree. Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Oh, this Good. is a if you'll really all bad me, idea. I'll though. show you where you can sleep. The lights, the lights at the bottom of the hill, at the bottom of the mountain. Guys, there's going to be an ambush. We need to say something. I'm going to let it go. You guys as the audience already know I'm way more concerned but the game's not letting me talk about it. So, we'll move on for now. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? He saved me. 
I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. He was a hell of a guy. Yeah. He was My really someone you could lean on. He took care of him. I'll never forget <laughs> that. So, where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. Omid... Well... Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. Well, she might not be gone. It might be a plot Sounds twist. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. And I'm she's sorry, with Carver man. now. I wish I could have found you sooner. But everything's gonna be fine now. I don't want to talk about the past. Yeah. You know what I just thought about? That's a great point. Now what they're gonna do is teach us that Carver is not somebody whose group we want to be associated with. And then Krista is going to be associated with that when they come up the road from the car with the car. And then we're going to have to effectively choose the side. Unless we can convince Krista to just join ours. But that would be unlikely. Yeah, I hear you. Never thought I'd see any of you again. Tell you the truth, I should have never made it out of Savannah. Krista got in a hell of a mess. I gave her a hand, and then it got messier. For a minute there, it wasn't looking too good for old Kenny. Long story short... You found I somebody named Sarita? Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita, thank God. Yeah, it's Sarita. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Is she? Is? Nice yeah. to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? You know what I'd love to help with? Informing everybody that there's somebody coming up the mountain. Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with people is so important. I fully agree. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Yeah. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. Everyone underestimates me. Yep. I expect you've used that to your advantage. Oh, of course. Sometimes. Smart girl. Yeah. Mmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? Looks... great. It looks like mush. No, it doesn't. Mm -mm -mm. As an artist, there's nothing I like less than a friendly critic. Huh. Striking resemblance. <laughs> anyway, I'll take it from here. Let's look around at the lodge. You know what we should look at for? The lights outside? Why aren't we looking at the lights outside? The lights outside. Cousin Jared's concert, October 13th, 1998. That's still after I was born. I'm an old one. CD player.
Okay. Look at dinner table. Okay, well, I can't look at it from there, so I gotta look at it from this weird angle. Reminds me of school. That's unfortunate, I'm sorry. What's this song you're humming? I have good king one of these since it's my favorite Christmas song. What's it about? Well, it's about a king that brings food to a poor man. The king and his The Glenn, king and his servants. Hey Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. So, how'd you meet Kenny? I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Hold up? You should have seen his beard then. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas. But I still love the decorations. Find a tree topper. Can we top the tree with warning people about the lights outside at the bottom of the mountain? Can we top, top it with that? Does that work? duck what a funny little guy he he hoo hoo ha ha hoo ha he 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 that's what you meant by funny right oh we can't go that way okay so we gotta go back to find our tree topper either that or we go up here and then we just put it on it's ourselves crazy why would they follow us this far we can't be sure it's been a week man we gotta be out of the woods. We nope. can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Let me. What do you think they are? Let me tell Ninjas? them. Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, people? Mm -hmm. Way down there. How? I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Nope. No, we're not. Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. They could be hiding something. We mostly talked about Kenny. Kenny is the loud man with the beard? Yeah, that's him. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. I'm not gonna Honey, play favorites for our so group. Good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. Okay, let's talk to you. You want to talk to okay? us? okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? It's not going to be easy. We're not going to coddle you. We're going to tell you the truth. I know it's going to be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Yeah, well, that's good then, too. I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. That's true. She's kicking. Want to listen? That food smells good, huh? Can I? Sure, why not? As long as Rebecca's remember, uh, not remembering, but... Offering. If he finds out it's not his, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. But I guess nothing's weird anymore. He won't kill you. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. It's not Thanks my information to share. Can you go ask that Walter guy when we're going to eat? I love you, silly bear. I hate it when you call me that. I know, but I mean it. I love you too. You get some rest now.
She looks so cool. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. You know what else would make it feel like real Matthew home? Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, Protecting it's dangerous it from the lights to be this coming kind, up the mountain. but they can't help it. <laughs> Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. So I call him Maddie now. What does Matthew look like? Oh, he's a handsome man. A little shorter than Walter. He should be back soon. Clem, I okay, wanted Matthew to was ask shot, you, so. does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He seems like the same old Kenny to me. Oh, well, that's good. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, hon. I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Yep, same Always old Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Well, everyone, dinner is served. All well, right. Let's get rated at dinner time. Sounds great, don't you think? You okay, man? Yeah, I'm just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. Kenny. Sorry. Here you go, Clem. You betrayed our group! So, Clem, we were just talking. What's the deal with the kid? And what's his name? Luke? He in charge? You trust him? Kenny, please. Sarita, we don't know these folks. Luke is a good guy, yes. I like him. He's a good guy. Would you trust him with your life? Luke, yes. I think so. Yep. That guy, Big Al, he said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow and you can stay here. Okay. Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. She's staying for good. Thank you. Of course. This is like a dream. Damn it, I am so happy right now. I, I can't even tell you. Kenny is my people. He's with, been with us from the beginning. I'm not going to abandon the person who's been the, the most supportive of us. Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kenny. So, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. What kind of place? A good one, Einstein. Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? Supposed to be. You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winters so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice, I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying. What? <laughs> Excuse me? You heard me. Luke, listen to him. I have been, but... Kenny's my friend. Gentlemen, please. There's no need for this. I'm siding with Kenny here, even now, look, though we've he, all had a long day. He's found like Please, he, he looks like he's really had a character arc development, and I I really want to support that Kenny's duck. growth. <gasps> duck? Who's Duck? Leave him alone, Luke. 
Hey, Clementine. It's not you, my information uh, to share, so I'm not going to. That's unfortunate that his son was brought back up. Uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher, and I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. Mm -hmm. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty, and you grease the wheels. What do you say? Will you help me work on them? The two of us must unify our factions for the common good. You know, like Churchill and Roosevelt. I agree. Combining say the, the world is work. But I will, that's I'll the best option to me. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. Right. All we can do is continue to learn from each other. To empathize and use our heads. Fully agree, yes. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. That's Steinbeck. also fair. Have you read him? No. Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Right. I agree. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? Yes. You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you can tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. <sighs> I'm just worried about the people chasing us. You're safe now. Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. Matthew won't be back be soon. Don't hey, worry. Hey, kids, what are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Miss? Hey, Bonnie. Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Bonnie, Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. I do. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, I do. Clem? I know her. Walt, how much damage can this poor woman do? She can't hurt anyone. Look at her. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. I think what that's a good solution. People? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. I have a little girl like you. Really? How old are you, sweetie? I'm 11. I would have thought older than that. Dang, that's Here a big you are, box. Miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. That's a great way to I'll actually do that. Going now. You stay safe. You too. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. Hold on, let's pause for a second. Here we go. <sighs> Clementine. What's up? Don't freak out. I mean, saying don't freak out freaks people out. Just saying. Listen, I gotta tell you something. Okay. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. 
Yeah, well, I already figured that out. That's not a surprise. See, I knew something was Matthew off. Matthew so will be back soon. Their friend. Now they're all worried he's not back yet. I know he was, for sure. Damn it. Damn it, Nick. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. Oh, heck no. Who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. If I have the option... We should tell him. Yep. He's gonna ask who did it, and you're gonna tell him. Yep. It's the right thing to do. It's right to get Nick killed because that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, but guess now, what? You, he got uh, one of... You still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh, there's nothing, man. I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. We have to tell you something. I'm not gonna hey, hide. There's something going on. I want to know. I know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. God damn it. Hey, Nick, shut the fuck up. I can't, man. I can't. Do not fucking blow it. Blow it? It's over. I have to tell him, Luke. I agree. What? No, you can Hey, Nick, you cannot do that. Are you fucking nuts? I gotta. I can't live with that on me. You should tell him. Yeah, yeah. Nick, I'm warning you. This is fucking suicide. It, it may be. It. Jesus Christ. Jesus. I can't handle this. No, you gotta, you gotta tell no, the Clint, truth, man. Just go do that thing, all right? You want me to lie and prepare to hide evidence about something? It's gone. Yeah, he knows already. Are you okay? I always liked this knife. Gave it to Matthew when all this started. You're, you're, the game's trying to make it. That. The Who game's. It? Was it that, that kid? What's his name? Uh, Nick? Heard him talking earlier, something about shooting a man. <laughs> Go on. There you go, Pete. I could see it. Yeah. I could see it on his face. Wasn't sure then. But now? It was us. It was our fault. Jesus. I, um. Uh, I don't feel good. I get that. Nick shot him. Is Nick a good man? He is. Or is he just like everyone else? He's a good guy. He just he is. Is, makes a, a lot of mistakes. Guy, he saved my life. He was always going out alone. I told him something like this would happen, but he wouldn't listen. No, Matt always knew best. What's going on? You need to tell him. Tell him what? What happened on the bridge? Tell me what you did. Just tell me, son. Tell me what happened. From a distance, it looked like anyone. I, 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 thought, I thought he was going to shoot my friends, and I, I shot Matthew. But it, it, it happened real fast. I didn't, I didn't know if I hit him, but I did, and I didn't mean to. you know what you've done to me? Do you have any idea? I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Walter. Don't kill yourself, please. Don't, don't do that.
Walt, what's going on? The storm's got it spinning out of control. That sound's gonna draw walkers. We gotta shut it down now. Hey, help me. Carry the guns. Guns? That thing's a damn dinner bell. Got it. Does anyone know how to do this? Great. I can do it. Okay, we'll watch your back. Nick, scan the trees with me. Time to solve a puzzle. Oh, you want us to burn it? You don't want to just use the key and then turn it off and then... Oh, it's okay, that's for light. Okay, that's fine. Sounds of zombies nearby. We don't have much ammunition. Don't you? Gotta get back to the lodge. Yep. They're behind us. All right. Well, there goes the. Why are you making it out to be like Clem is scared? Yeah, I wasn't worried about it. it if you're the game program does to make it so we ran out of bullets. Keep moving. Get to the lodge. You get the gun. No, you don't want the gun. Go back. Get the gun. Yep, there it is. Be smart about it. Heck yeah, then pick up the gun afterwards. Please help me. Yep. That's a good sign. Get inside! Go! Clementine, are you okay? What the hell?
Howdy, folks. Bonnie. I trusted you. Where's Rebecca? Carver. It's nice to see you, too. Oh! Damn it! Sarah! Inside. Outside. Zombie plant. This is a foot. Inside. You. Keep moving. The knife was a good choice, I think. Look at this place. Leave this fucking place, Bonnie? Power and everything. A lot of windows, though. It's fucking huge. Bill's gonna hate it. Now ah, the rest of them could be anywhere. Man, how the fuck are we gonna cover these guys and look for them, too? Johnny, cover that window. Bonnie, you're not get well. It looked like Bonnie was really th genuinely thankful, and that she's kind of being manip manipulated by the rest of the people here. So, Listen, I'm only gonna ask you once. Where's Rebecca? Sarah, look at me. It's gonna be okay. Oh! Is it? Oh! Rebecca! Oh! Rebecca! Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. I know you're out there. Oh! And Alvin, and Luke, and the girl. This is real simple. You want this over quick. You all play nice. And show your faces. Never make that, please. He'll kill him. No, Alvin. We gotta go down there. I can't do that. Beck, the baby. You need a doctor. No. Where's Luke and Kenny? We have to help Carlos. The only way to help him is to do what the man says. Then let's what do that. Luke and Kenny. Look at those guns. We start shooting, and people are gonna die on both sides. <laughs> Clint can sneak out. Find Luke. What the hell is she gonna do? And you heard him? Carver knows she's with us. Just stop! Don't hurt my dad, please! We're going down there. He'll kill you. Fuck you! Shoot him! Somebody just shoot him! Clem, go get help. He'll kill him, Beck. He'll do it anyway. He's gonna kill him. Rebecca, we have to give up. Bill, stop! Ah! You all right? Fuck you, Bill. You don't want to do this. Please let these people go. Just shut up. Oh. Oh. Clem, can you reach my hands? Everything under control? Clem. I'll try. Kenny! 
Don't move. I can't see him. Watch them. Okay, so what's the point of no. that? Just to kill a character off? Silence is the best option? That's for our man! Now, I didn't want to do this! But you ain't leaving me much choice. Okay, let's see what so you have to So here's what's gonna say. happen! I'm gonna march another one of your friends out here, and I'm gonna put a bullet in the back of their head! No. Or you can give up now! Your choice! Hi, Elvin. You motherfucker. Elvin! Bill, no! Tell him to stop! Can he stop? You remember George, Alvin? You see, I do. I remember a guy that was your friend named George. I remember when you murdered him in cold blood. And why? Because you didn't like me? You could have lodged a complaint. You could have... Well, you could have been civil. Bill, no! We'll do whatever you want! Plot armor. We can do this all night. Seven times invincible. Is that what you want? Plot armor. Plot armor. Risk ourselves because they're not going to kill us. Where's Luke? Finally, cut and run, huh? Why am I not surprised? I warned you. I warned you not to follow him. Look where he's led you. But you're safe now. We're going home. As a family. <laughs> Alright, round him up. We're heading back to camp. Okay, so basically, the game is forcing us to be captured, it's just how many people are going to die before we get captured. Okay, well that would make sense. Oh! Sorry, I guess my whole time that mic was off, I was talking about the, the stats, but you can see them and you read them by now, so I don't want to do more. I think it's just going to hit credits if it follows suit, so I will see you guys tomorrow, and I appreciate you guys being so invested. I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye!